All right. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Um, so just to announce, because I think everyone was pretty much here, maybe a couple of you weren't. So um, last time we actually raised uh, $427 for Donnie's family, which was great. Very happy about that. And today we actually went over our GoFundMe goal of $1,000 for the family also, too. So two great things. And I think Mr. Cheever is actually working on redoing the shirt. We have bonfires and lunch tables. Um, they wouldn't let us do the design uh, until about 20 people bought the shirt. Um, so they had licensing thing. So this is they bought with them all day. And basically we just said they're going to do a black and white version, print it off here, and do it here. Head up the head office. Who's coming with me? Yeah. Yeah, pick up time. So tonight is uh, Ms. Zurich's class, and out of all the titles and classes that we have, this is one of my top two uh, class titles ever. Um, there was, we had a pain class a long time ago, which is probably the other one, and it depends on the day. This one will be, is called Happy Endings. All right, so this is, this is her request. Now, not in the happy endings that you think um, at all. I can't video those. Um, but basically, the concept, and correct me if I'm wrong, Kim, is so if we always take people down, well, how do you finish them off? Okay? And then if you're finishing them off, <laughs> like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> if, you're, if you're finishing them off, how can they turn the table and finish you off first? Okay, it's my favorite I'm dead. class. It's my favorite class. I'm dead. <laughs> so, so we're going to basically look at, uh, we're going to start with the attacks and stuff. We're going to be, we're going to use like evil and hot and stuff, stuff you guys have already seen. And we want to see those be good too. I want to see like good wrist locks, good throws, and stuff like that. Stuff you guys have worked on. So make sure you're not just going through the movements on those. Let's practice those too. Uh, but then we're going to get this in like, how can we finish off? So this is the turn. So we do. So let's just start with something simple and basic. Right lunge, punch coming in. Moving off to the side, take it down. Here, all right, we do this all the time. All right, throwing that person down to the ground. I'm gonna keep her close, because from here, as, that's, as she's coming around, let's do this. Right into that arm bar, okay? Nice and simple, I think you guys can see that. Uh, I think I think you've done that one before, but for a warm up, just kind of keep just kind of go back, like down again. Let's start there, okay? Drop. Mate, so we've all kind of done this a couple times. So, to, so we can transition this a little easier. As Miles comes up, as I start taking him down, I'm not going to let him land flat. I'm going to put him right in front of me. My weight's on this foot. So now this one can just come right up and go. All right. So I'm not stepping, landing, and then stepping over. I'm actually make, walking right into this. All right. Doesn't mean you can go faster. Have to go faster. But as this is coming in, as I'm shooting, one, two. Okay. You see that? If you find that they're landing perfectly on their back, like that, hold their hand up a little bit more. Encroach in on them. Your left foot should be right about at the head. So screw that one. One. Two. Okay. Two Z forward. Okay. Put that twice on all the things. Okay, Mate. Look at Mr. Whitehead. He's coming in here. As I go down, I'm sliding down this. One, this is, think of this as like a firing pole. Okay, so I'm getting close, tight. I'm walking into here too, so that shoulder doesn't come up as much. Slide right there. All right, I'm not trying to fall back. I'm trying to slide back, sorry, because I need my butt close to him. All right, if I don't do that, I'll be up here and I can't really do the break effectively. So slide down that arm so that butt lands right here, and then you're good to go. Okay, all right, good. Let's do it well. That's my other way, other way. Watch that. Watch that. Same thing. Shh. 
RKO around the wrist. With your whole body. Okay, very careful. Notice that is, as you slide down, be very light on this because that's a lot of torque coming in. Even this is the ton. And that would be <clears throat> everything that you have. Right? Yeah, okay. Is that more likely to break the fingers or the wrist? The wrist. The wrist. Over your body, please. Okay. All right. Try one. Try that alto. Can I borrow you? Uh, so say, same punch. Say, same as that. Ooh, God. We're getting this point, and you're working on this the whole day. Someone comes down. What might they try to do if they're on the ground? Keep your head. Get up. <laughs> they might try to. So Jackie's gonna get back up to her feet. All right. Perfect. Good. Good. Let's go back down. All right, so as Jackie goes to start trying to get up, we're going to lift this and step back. She goes to push stuff up. Whoa. No, you're kind, of, you're, kind of, you're kind of coming here. At any point, we have this hand. This is going straight to the ground. And this is a nasty, nasty break. Oh, God. So she goes to pull herself up. Whoa, nope. Smash, smash, smash. Oh, happy. Yeah. <laughs> So, so attackers, thank you very much, Jack. Attackers, once, once you're brought down, give them a chance to get up a couple times. You're going to feel them pull on their arm to help try to accomplish that. That's a natural thing. Uh, once they've gotten up a couple times, cool. As they try to do it, just step along and lift it up a little bit. They won't be able to keep up again. Be aware of each other's positions. There is travel associated with this. Yep. All right? Oh, God. There is some context. They are trying to immediately get up. And you'll feel as, as Hold up, see how this arm pulls in. That's what we're taking advantage of. We kind of go back to the ground. As he goes to pull up, all we're doing is lifting and bringing him with us. And that's it. If, if, if he's not trying to get up, now you're just trying to haul, haul dead weight. That, and that's not helping you at all. From here, just, just shut this thing down now. And as he goes to pull, that's what we're moving with. Yeah. Oh, gnarly. Gnarly, gnarly, gnarly stuff. Yeah? Happy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mata. So now let's have the happy ending go the other way. All right. So uh, I have Miles, and he's the one taking me down. Actually, we'll start. We'll start it from the arm bar. So he's taking me down. He's got the arm bar on. He's got, come on down. He's got the arm bar. Okay, he's got the arm bar on. Okay. Now, before he gets to this, if he gets all the way to this position, I'm kind of screwed. So we're going to imagine that he's kind of still on his way. All right, now here's the problem, is I'm upside down and perpendicular to him. All right, that's why he gets the break. All right, so what I need to do, as this whole thing starts firing, again, we're gonna start from here, just because it's a gnarly get out, but if we start doing this full speed, someone's just gonna get messed up. We're gonna take this foot, bring ourselves out here, push, and actually, push, push, push. All right, so now I'm up, um, right side up, or back side up, and I'm, I'm parallel to him. Now, I'm not in a great spot, but I'm not getting my arm broke at this point in time. From here, I see a lot of stuff I gotta do and take care of, but my arm being broken is, that one's off the table. A whole bunch of other things I gotta do. So, from the arm bar, this perpendicular phase here, all right, she's like, come on. Even though you can even probably even start being even just a light, all right, here, yeah, because you haven't really pulled your foot up. Pull your foot out, so you're pulling your body square, but you're also now flipping yourself over with this foot and roll your hand. It's like trying to come for a ride. Right. All right, so now you just find yourself upside, you know, flipped over, and now parallel to that. All right, and now I can finish him off from here. Come again? Alright, so we all see it? So we're going, so if I'm, I, I'm not, Miles is not talking to me. Slide, and I'm rolling over to be on this line. 
problem is my arm has to move the opposite way at the same time. My arm has to roll over this way. So as I'm doing this, I'm rolling my arm and my shoulder, almost bringing my shoulder to my ear. Get it here. Okay? So you're rolling this way. If you're rolling this way, your arm's rolling that way. So it's, this works like this leg thumb for a ride. Keep thumbing as you roll over. Okay? Give it a shot. Keep thumbing. I don't know if you're on my thumb. We're getting used to this hitchhiker defense. To this hitchhiker defense. Here we are. You can use this defense. Oh, perfect. I'm going to die. Uh, we can use this defense to also get position. So one of the things I'm seeing is I'm seeing folks kind of rotating here, and they're kind of, we're, we're between the legs right now, which we can still work with, we can still do things with, especially if you like attacking groin. But I'm seeing a lot of this. <laughs> where you're gonna get punched. Uh, let's change this up a little bit. And what if we can kind of come to the outside of the leg, rotate them onto their side, Start to get a little bit of side control here. And now you're, now you're starting to take a little bit of space. You're getting to a position where you're not likely to get punched as much. Uh, you're not gonna have the same access to testicles, but, you have, but, you're, but you're a little bit more covered for punches but you can potentially take position. Does, every, do, does anyone need to see or feel that? Good? Oh, good, all right, uh, see or feel, feel. Uh, so, here we are. So, so we have this coming on. As we roll, they start to roll onto their side a little bit. We're covering the outside of this leg now. Working in, and here we go. In fact, we're not gonna play with this too much right now, but imagine we snuck that in underneath. We have what's called a ball and chain here. This fight's over. That fight's over. Hot, hot. Keep going. Thank you. Keep handling when you fall. <laughs> good, good. This is looking good. Mr. Whitey, how are you? So let's switch to the attack. Um, so I'm going to right lunge. And from here, we just keep going around as far as possible, as quickly as possible, trapping, trapping. Now we can do this from going to Dr. Cuba, which is that new Fedora star. Alright, so all you do is have be very careful on the take down piece. Alright, uh, question? Sorry. Yeah, I need to see it again. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Coming in. Going to some story. Here, really start with the leaning back. Alright. From here, I'm just going to pivot it around. Drop it. Very nice. Be very nice on that part. From here, I'm going to drop to this knee. Come over. Trap him. Keep this tight to my body. I'm not going to use my arm here. This is tight on my body. And then just slowly start turning around to the hands. All right. Now that's not the way we do it. We do it as fast as possible. But I need to trap this so that it doesn't compensate. Because if I'm up here, and I go, he compensates. So trap is getting this tight. And even we can ride him up into that heel. This heel can dig right into those ribs to make it more uncomfortable. And then go from there. So let's not worry about that. We're, just, we're trying to finish them off up here. All right. That was it. Good. Can you see after you're good? Uh, there's, a, there's a little thing I'm seeing going on over here, and I want to make sure everyone's wearing a smile. So I can type for just a moment. Uh, who here has pulled a chicken wing off a chicken or a turkey, right? Uh, I pulled a chicken wing off a turkey one time. And it was still alive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so we're kind of working in. We're working in. We're getting them down. So now we get to this point where, where we've got the lock, and maybe, oh sorry about your head there. We get to this position, and you'll probably have pretty good success with the lateral rotation. That's okay. But when you pull the wing off a chicken, you twist it and you pull it. Uh, up and away at the same time. Up and away. And that, and that is awful inside the shoulder. Matt, we're gonna unhook for a second. Dude, that, that, the noises would be horrible. Yeah, consider they, that turkey. Yeah. Yeah, this yes, is sir. Let actually rub it on 
No. What is the law? What is the law? Unless you're a monkey. There's a skin hole in there. There is a, there is a, there is a tendon that, go, that, that comes from your bicep uh, and goes into the back of your shoulder. Uh, and you're basically tearing that out and just and, and grinding everything inside that shoulder joint at the same time. Uh, yeah, it's pretty awful. It's, uh, you're going to tear some stuff. And I'll tell you from personal experience, that takes about six months to recover. Yeah, have fun. Post-surgery. Post-surgery. <laughs> no, that was uh, a few years ago. Oh, yeah. 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 I, uh, and sometimes the human body gets a little weight and squirmy and doesn't, and doesn't want to break, so you move in, you push, you've got them down, here we are. This arm, as we're stepping in, it might turn him a little bit. Let's, let's rotate together as much as we can. So right now, her, arm, her elbow is starting to face away from me. All I'm going to do is I'm going to roll my hand up, I'm going to support my hand and start to sink into this. And that is a gnarly, gnarly little arm break. If they go to try to collapse the elbow to get out of that, good. Oh, yeah, they just gave you the shoulder lock again. And it's and it's like literally watching people on the ground go from trying to leg lock to arm bar to trying to leg lock to arm bar. Uh, it's hilarious if it works so painful and awful. Yeah. And that weird sucking sound as you pull the shoulder out of the joint is, uh, is really something to behold. Yeah. So enjoy it. The elbow's more of a snap pop. The shoulder's yeah. more of a well, then you can actually go right back into there and yeah, extend yeah. right back into the armbar. Oh, oh, with, with this behind you. Yeah, and just yeah. and alternate for everything else. That sometimes happens to people here. Uh, who here has had the experience of this? You're having a picture of the bike park. Who here has had the experience where someone's coming in, we've gone through this, but for some reason their arm kind of straightens, and as we try to go in, we find ourselves here. We just we haven't quite got that loose in the right hand, and we're kind of in this spot. This is kind of like an overhook, and we're trying to get this shoulder to come back into the right spot. This is kind of like an overhook. Uh, we, can, uh, we can use this. Let's break them here. So, all we're gonna do is maybe deliver another hit. We're, sort of, we're starting to drive this. This is, yeah, you can always start feeling that come to me. We're going to step in front as we rotate. We're gonna do this gently, because shoulders at risk and elbows at risk. No. And we're just dropping it with that, with that wisdom. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You can, even if you want to be gentle and kind, grab their collar for a little bit of stability. And there we go. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Here we go. We've got this. This also, it just didn't work out. We were too army. Just happens. We'll do this with a little bit more zazz. I know you felt this before. It, it, can, it can get pretty gnarly. We're not going through so hard that we break the arm. Oh, shit, sure, yeah, I mean, that's the story. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, here we go. Uh, but this is written right here, just stepping right through and snapping that sucker. That's what we're doing, and that throws it. <laughs> so, does anybody need to see or feel? So just for five minutes. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yes, feel? Yeah. A couple minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Just a couple minutes. Just because we, we, we found ourselves here, this has just happened. Oh shit. So, other option? They need to just drop it right to the ground. They face plant. Their feet go in the end. They look like a bad plant. Cool. Have fun. I don't want you guys to see this. So, what if, what if for some reason during the fight we got to here? What, what if we just got to here? There's a little thing that we could do that's, that's pretty neat and uses the oh. same sort of idea. <laughs> Yeah, right, right here. And the idea is that is that we're essentially you can't you're not allowed to do this in judo. <laughs> uh, if you're fighting, you, you sneak your feet behind these ankles and extend, and literally, wham! Ah, there's his eye. You can also roll it, and anytime you want. Oh, cool! Now we have a head, a head that we can take all sorts of fun stuff. By myself. Cool, cool shot, right? That's it. That's the technique. That's our first TikTok. Right you there. Bet, that bet. is our first TikTok. Yeah, right not. there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel it. You feel it? Absolutely. So, well, I guess we use this angle. <laughs> Too late. Turn on our camera. Oh, yeah. And the, and the idea. Yeah, it hurts, doesn't it? It sucks. So, now Adam's escape path is to get onto one hip and extend and extend his feet. Like he's trying to court Stewart's heels out. There you go. But. Without rolling 
doubling himself over at the same time. <laughs> it can actually be tough to escape. Oh, now here we are, we're right back. We're right back where we wanted to be earlier. Neat, just fun stuff. Go ahead and give it a try. Be gentle, if your hips aren't super fun. We're, use, we're using this, uh, we're gonna do this gently, but, uh, but we're gonna do this kind of the way God intended, uh, which is as a kick, almost as a strike. Oh yeah, yeah, that was, and we let that one go, that right. But the idea now is they've taken some hits, and that, and now you're starting to continue to work. So we don't, we don't just kind of get someone here and say, now where's the treasure? Uh, <laughs> th 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 this isn't really how this works. The idea is to have this be a dynamic, using your bump muscles, using your glutes, shooting that out. There you go. You're taking him and starting to really mess his world up. You're starting to, uh, using it to create advantages. <laughs> Uh, anyways, this was happy endings, right? Yeah, yeah. Because this is happy endings, we're smashing their head yeah, into, yeah. Into, this, into the pavement over and over, right? It's happy for you. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, great, it's a great you. time. Yeah. I get to be like that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but, the, but that's the idea of this technique. It's, again, not a hold. It's a, holy shit, my hips. Ah, oh, that hurts so much. And then they say, and then they said that until there was a thumb in their eye. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's the idea. So. Play with that in mind, like 30 seconds? Yeah, I don't think it's like, so make sure you get to do it, make sure you get to do it. Hey, see you later, yeah, my house. Take care, buddy. Okay. okay, so now, so let's, uh, for kids' requests, let's counter, let's, let's counter the finish off move that we were looking at before. Okay? So, uh, Adam, you're going to do, actually, Kim, you're going to do that technique to me. You're going to, we're going to do that so though, you're going to take it down, you're going to jump on it, put that hand on. Oh. 
swallow them. You'll feel the effect to swallow them and roll right on top of them instead. Okay? Go ahead. Um, Kim, we're going to get into this card. Well, card break, let's get, let's, let's flip them over like a pancake. And let's take their back. So, uh, so here we are. How do we get here? Giano, use your imagination. I mean, they've been in a soto gone wrong and they threw you down into the garden. They're just a scrappy yeah. bastard. Yeah. They, got, they got you somehow, they pulled you into their garden. And now we're kind of in this mix. So, thing number one. No one head up. This is, you're, you're getting, you're dying here. Stop dying. What are you doing? Get your head down. Next, we're going to drive an elbow down into the slate to create some separation. We all know what this little pain spot is. From there, we're going to slip the elbow behind the knee. People will generally try to get these legs back up in the air a little bit. We'll try to get them back here. We're rotating our body but from here, taking the face, kneeling them around. Oh, I'm working races for your fortune.
take your legs up. You're like, 